four days ago, I put up this video about my bedtime reading fiction, Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry, nonfiction book of science essays by Isaac Asimov. Some of them were written in 1958. I think the one I talked about was written in 1958, although the collection was published later, much later. And he talked about how for 2,000 years, comets were believed to be some unidentified aerial phenomenon in the atmosphere, not in the heavens, were not like stars, they were something in the atmosphere. And they believed that for 2,000 years, until comparatively recently, although it was hundreds of years ago, um, actual astronomers did some investigation and determined they were in the heavens, they were in outer space. Comets were not something that occurred in the atmosphere. Now I want to talk about something else that occurred in the atmosphere. In uh, 19, June 1947, this is from the Chicago Sun, supersonic flying saucers sighted by Idaho pilot. Speed estimated 1,200 miles an hour near Mount Rainier. Flying at incredible speed. Wow, that pilot was this guy, Kenneth Arnold, and he wrote a book, Coming of the Saucers, the official book. That's Kenneth Arnold, 1947, with his plane. Now it says Kenneth Arnold and Ray Palmer. Ray Palmer was a, uh, a editor and writer of Sensationalist magazines. Science fiction, science, <coughs> science related. It was republished as a uh, ebook by his uh, Kenneth Arnold's granddaughter. <coughs> so uh, that's So, after he saw them, uh, he said, this is uh, Kenneth Arnold. To me, that evening, that was that. They were guided missiles, robotly controlled. I knew that at speeds of this velocity, the human body simply could not stand, particularly considering the erratic movements of these strange craft. After talking to the editor of the East or Oregonian newspaper, I was fairly convinced that it was some new government invention along the lines of guided missiles. Now, if you read this book, you read any contemporaneous accounts, that's what Kenneth Arnold thought. It did not occur to him at all that this was evidence of visitation by an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization. That's because there's no relationship whatsoever from seeing something at a distance uh, 10,000 feet high near a mountain <laughs> No, it's just, uh, if it's what he thought it was, it has to be guided missiles, probably rockets. Um, so that's what he talked about. It was only later people started contacting him. And there were, various people said they were interdimensional beings. They were demons, 
and you keep going down the list and finally you find some people that say it's they're extraterrestrials aliens from another place um he didn't think so because it's far too far away all right so now i'm moving from what kenneth arnold thought that they were guided guided missiles robotly controlled uh others think that they're seeing things they can't explain as evidence of uh extraterrestrial civilizations or that the government is hiding information about extraterrestrial civilizations they were uh, they are and now are still unidentified aerial phenomena they're in the atmosphere they're not in outer space there's you have to be biased to think there's something else because there's no evidence whatsoever they're from another planet they're things in the atmosphere or refraction light refraction you if you don't know, know anything about that you weren't paying attention in school uh you see birds move around you think they're not birds if they're a flock of birds light reflecting off of them you might see some lights that are nowhere near where you think they are from your perspective you do the same thing underwater you can see things in the the light underwater like in a big swimming pool um, or fairly clear water uh, out in the, like the sea and uh, no it, but it's nowhere near that it's it's light so uh, this is common in humanity to uh, see what you're looking for so if you're looking for angels which some people said comets were angels or ufos are angels but uh you have to first have learned about angels and be biased towards seeing them. Uh, they, uh, what Kenneth Arnold saw was probably light, probably birds. He said they were moving in an echelon formation like birds. So that's probably what they were. And he, you know, he was flying away from them. He was looking, glancing over at them while he was flying an airplane, making estimations, and uh, he probably saw birds.